Well, listeners to the show will know that uh, back in March that we spoke to uh, Barry Funnell, who was uh, a para-athlete, who, uh, an actual cyclist, and who had just taken up cycling very, very recently. And yet he had given himself this enormous job of cycling from uh, Land's End to John O'Groats. And we were wishing him the best and letting everybody know what was going on. Um, but believe it or not, he has just done that and he's on the line. How are you doing, Barry? Hey, very well, thank you. Yeah, it's very exciting. We finished uh, the cross line about, say, 15 minutes ago um, in, jo- in John O'Groats from going from Land's End. It's about a thousand mile journey and it was a really amazing experience. I can just imagine it. Are you exhausted? Um, yes, it was very tiring, especially the last two days were very hilly again and some huge climbs. But um, I'm feeling actually in good spirits and not actually too bad, really. Yeah. So, 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 tell us, um, how long has it taken you completely to 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 com- to complete that journey, that thousand mile journey? It's twenty days of cycling, about seven to eight hours a day, and um, a three rest days in between. You only took three rest days. Uh, only three rest days, yeah. Oh my goodness, you're a devil. And those were on Sundays, and we had meetings in the morning and evening on every Sunday, which was a real blessing. Oh, I can just imagine. So, what are the high points of the trip for you, Barry? I think the high points, no doubt, would be meeting fellow believers all over this beautiful um, country. Uh, The UK is really spectacular. I think um, the people have been wonderful, and we've really enjoyed uh, connecting with different churches and enjoyed the wonderful hospitality right from Cornwall right up to Scotland. And I must say, um, we have a different view of of the UK. They are wonderful, friendly people. I uh, love the Lord. I was going to say, I, I know from some of your earlier uh, work that you did that people would come out and cycle with you and do that. Did you find anybody coming along to support you in that particular way? Yes, we did. In fact, several people came out, um, and not normally more than one or two, but it was wonderful. Some couple even uh, cycled 25 miles with us. So 25. we had lots of wonderful uh, fellowship, even on the road, on bikes. And we got something like 1,100 hoops from various trucks and drivers on the road as well, just greeting us and saying hi. That's amazing. And I know that you were doing this uh, for a particular cause. Can you tell us about that? Yes, I was doing it to raise money for Bible translation and literacy programs with For the Word for the World. And we have 55 projects and we're trusting God to, to raise money to start five new projects this year. And tell us, uh, do you know yet what kind of uh, money you've raised? Or are you still in the middle of counting it and is it still coming in? <laughs> we are still in the middle of counting it, but we've raised at least £14,000 thus far. And we thank God for every penny that's come in. Isn't that absolutely amazing? And we'll give people uh, some details later on in the show to be able to give them an idea where to contribute, because I know that we have that from before. Um, but uh, out of interest, uh, do, do you, uh, it sounds like you really didn't have much chance to get lonely out there on the road. I mean, because I, I pictured you when we talked about it first was this big long thousand mile stretch all the way from Cornwall all the way to the very top of Scotland and you on a rainy road <laughs> yes. and but actually that really probably wasn't what it was like in the end was it? Yeah actually no I mean there were four days where we got a fair amount of rain but um, we had wonderful camaraderie on the road you know my wife and my son cycled with me my son Timothy's 15 yeah, and another friend from London joined us from a, a church in London uh, called Mike Taylor, and he was just such a wonderful, inspirational guy, um, chanting and singing songs and ringing his bell and waving at all the uh, various passers by. So we had fun. I must say, it was really an incredible. And my wife sang praise songs all the way, and I was also praising the Lord. And we actually had tremendous fun. I would say it wasn't a lonely experience at all, and we really sensed the presence of God with us. That was a a wonderful adventure. Amazing. Now, now, just right now, this second, I, I imagine uh, I've never done anything remotely like what you've done. And I do love to cycle, but I've never done anything you know, as intense as what you've done there. But I would imagine after 20 days, even 20 days with a couple of breaks in between, you'd be fairly tired, achy uh, in, your, in, your, in your muscles and your bones, are you? Yes, yes indeed. My, my shoulders were very achy. And I'd say particularly on the second day, I almost thought I'm not going to make... I'm not going to be able to do, do this. this. Yes, and I the other thing was I developed vertebral pressure sore on my behind. Which, oh, uh, man. Third, yeah. So it wasn't without pain and uh, with some uh, anxiety. But um, <laughs> at the end of the day, we managed to just keep my shoulders going. And um, yeah, I would say I, was, I basically woke up with painful shoulders every day. And it was a bit of a bind over magic back on the bike, I must say. So, and my muscles were sore. 
but after a, a half an hour or so, they seemed to warm up, and um, you know, I could get through the day. So um, it was really was. Uh, I'd say the Lord was really giving me, sustaining me, and giving me a lot of joy in spite of. Yeah some of the little trials on the way. Indeed. Just to explain to everybody, I did mention at the beginning that you're a paracyclist. You don't actually have use of your legs, so you actually do all of your cycling through your arms. Isn't that right? That's correct, yeah. From my chest down, I'm completely paralyzed. So it's required a tremendous amount of um, musc- mu- uh, you know, arm strength to get up those inclines. Uh, particularly around Berrydale, they're very, very high. And uh, in the Lake District, we went up a place called Shepfell, which was extremely high. It was 1,200 feet climb. Yeah, I, I know. It really was quite incredibly intense getting I'm, all the way up. I mean, just on foot, let alone on a bicycle, that is, that's an incredibly difficult thing to do. I know, I actually know the exact place you're talking about. I, and I, I was wondering, I was going to ask you, so you, you didn't spare yourself in that sense. You did, you, when it came time to go up the mountains, you didn't go around them, you went up and through them. Yes. I did my very best to keep going and um, just really went for it. Uh, I tried to get uh, to from A to B because we had meetings coming up at the various times. So I really had to work quite hard to get there. Yeah, oh, that is fantastic. Uh, listen, Barry, many, many congratulations. It's lovely having spoken to you earlier in the year and knowing that this was coming up and then to be able to catch you. Literally, you've just finished this what, a very short time ago, have you? Right. Yes, only about 15, 20 minutes ago now. Um, oh, that's, that's brilliant. Pretty, pretty yeah, it's great to chat. And I just want to thank Spirit Radio for the way you have encouraged me and, um, you know, with your listeners and the prayer and support that I've received. And I even have received one or two donations from Ireland because of the Spirit Radio interview. And the, the Vox magazine also put out an article. So I've been really encouraged by an um, Ireland response. Thank you very much. Well, Barry, I hope you, you, you get even more and we'll give out more details about how people can indeed, uh, how they can uh, contribute and donate to that cause, which is a very, very good right. cause, the, the cause of Bible translation for all those people yes. groups all over the world. Barry, God bless you, man, and congratulations. Thank you so much and God bless you too. Bye-bye Thanks. now. Thanks.